Hi, this is George Weigel. Welcome to my Garden Tip of the Week series. Let's go see what's going on in the garden today. Hi, you know, one of my favorite summer plants is the Persian Shield, these metallic purple things, which I really love a lot. They're kind of expensive, though. Uh, if I don't do something within the next few weeks, though, when frost comes along, these are so tender they're just going to die, which would be a real shame, and then I'd be back to nowhere next spring, facing have to go out to buy a whole new set of them. But I like free plants, and if you do, it's very easy to get free ones out of plants like the Persian Shield and a lot of the other annuals, too. And it's done by a process called cuttings, which is very easy to do. Uh, one thing you have to do is get to the plant before it goes down in the fall, though. Get to it before frost. What I'll do is come out this time of year, around uh, maybe September or so, uh, early October at the latest, and take tip cuttings where you get about three sets of leaves and you snip the tips off, and you end up sticking that in potting mix to get the uh, cuttings to root. Once they root, you have new plants that you can take other cuttings off of to get dozens of plants in the springtime. But you have to, to get busy doing it right now. Now let me just show you how to do it with the Persian Shield, for example. I want to get a fairly young cutting, so uh, if I can find one like this, which would be really good, and go down in there and cut it so that I have at least about a six or eight inch cutting, and then once I have that cut off, uh, you get it ready to go into the pot, which I'll show you right now. Let's go take a look at how that happens. Okay, here I have my cutting. Actually, I have a broken branch that I knocked off on the way over here, so we'll get rid of that. That's a little big. What you really want is one about this size, which is six inches off the tips. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is take the bottom part off here and then snip off one set of the lower leaves and then go up and take off the second set higher up. These are called the nodes where the leaves come out of, right there. Uh, that's the part that's going to go under. Notice I have just a couple uh, leaves at the top. So there's the two sets of uh, de-leafed nodes right there. And I'm going to make a little hole. I use this expensive stick right here to poke a hole in there, do that, open it up. Some people use root hormone or root tone. Uh, they dip it in there to help the roots come out, but I found you really don't need it for most plants. If you want to use it, go ahead, but otherwise I just stick it so that both of these are going to be uh, underneath the soil and then pack the soil up against there. The nodes are where the roots are going to come out of, so that you're ready to go. Just keep it watered. It has to be damp at all times. It uh, can't go below freezing, so uh, if it doesn't root outside, take it inside. Now here's one. I just want to show you a uh, wandering Jew that I've started a couple weeks ago. Uh, if you pull this out, look, that has already started the root. That's now a new plant. It's gone from uh, basically a dead cutting to a brand new plant that's rooted itself. And I've also started a few here, uh, coleus, very easy, two different kinds of coleus. I've tried uh, begonias also, I've got a couple of them stuck already, and a Rex begonia vine also. It's actually pretty easy to do, so give it a try. If it works, you'll get free plants. If it doesn't, all you lost was a few minutes of your time, and try again. Till next week, I'll see you on penalive.com. Oh,